Welcome Wolf Pack to a quick tutorial and guide discussing my step-by-step -step methods of retrieving crab pots and a quick and efficient method of manually sorting crab in Deadliest Catch the game. As discussed in our first tutorial about baiting the pots and setting the pots, according to the game manual, the optimum soak time for a string of pots is a range between 8 and 16 hours. There is a color coding as you can see here on how long those pots have been in the water. Green is the most optimal. There is a couple things that I like to do before I start to retrieve the pots, and you can see we have a little bit of heavy weather here. This is the heaviest weather that I have played on, so this is kind of cool. I didn't even know that the, it was storming like this. I go to the storage compartment, I make sure that we have a grappling hook, and I make sure my grappling hook is in position here, otherwise you will not be able to use this position. You have to have a grappling hook present right there to be able to use this position. There is one other thing I like to do, is I like to go to the storage compartment and pull out a tote and then I bring my tote over here and I drop it near my sorting table. Now I'm ready to go. So you can see we're not yet in position here, we're actually in neutral, which I would not recommend if you're a boat captain. I'm not a boat captain, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to be out here in the middle of the Bering Sea in heavy weather like this in neutral, but you know, who am I? I'm just a fire. So we're going to have the captain set his speed to one, that way we can start to make our pot retrievals. You'll see those two buoys out there, we come over to the grappling hook and press E and that will bring us into the grappling hook mode. Now we can wait for our buoys to come into location over here and we are going to get a nice arc and you can see if it's green we can start to pull it in and wrap it up. Immediately upon retrieving the grappling hook here the game has put the rope into the coiler. We come over here and we press this button right here to turn on the coiler and you will see the crab pot start to drag up to the side of the boat. Now we have full of crab, that's a good thing. Once we get the crab to the side of the boat, now we have to get it over here to the launcher. That's one other thing that you can do before you start pulling pots up, is get the launcher into the neutral position here. So now we have to come over here and lower the winch hook. You'll see it coming down from above. We come over here, grab the hook, put it on the pot, drag it over here to the ghost image, E to place the crab on the launcher, and you're good to go. Now you can hit the Q button, and I recommend you hit the Q button to let go of that hook and leave it be. Our next mission now is to take our crab sorting table and press it to come to the table forward. We open the pot door, and then this button right here, you will throw the crabs out from the pot. What you do not want to do is mess with that lever right there. I have learned this the hard way. If you raise the platform right here, this crab pot, whether it's full of crabs or not, will go over the edge, and if you notice, the buoys are now sitting over here. There is no way to retrieve that pot. Not only do you lose the crab that might be in there, you also lose $1,000 of the pot, and you get fined for leaving a pot in the water. At this point, you can move the crab table forward, close the pot door, pick up your buoys and place them in the buoy holder, and then you can restack your pot. Quickly moving the crane controls back and forth, you can come over here. Once you drop the pot anywhere in this vicinity, it will auto stack. I prefer to move the crane back into position, that way we can get ready for the next pot that comes on board. Sometimes this can get pretty crazy if you have a line of pots in a very close proximity to each other, and you will have to do this very quickly. We then have to repeat that process until all the crab pots are recovered. We will go over sorting crabs in a few seconds, let's get all the crab pots on board. The stormy weather is definitely a little bit of a game changer. Got that one, very good. Again, automatically puts it in the coiler. We're going to go ahead and retrieve the coiler. A couple of things that I do before I start sorting crab is I clean up the deck and make sure everything is put away. I take and press R to pick up my grappling hook and put it back away. You don't have to do this. I just do this and start out fresh each time. And then I will bring this crab sorting table back. I will return this to the ready position. Also, once the last pot is on the boat, you can put your crane in the stowed position, which is any position that you'd like. Now that everything is stowed, we're going to go ahead and sort our crab. 
Hey, before I forget, if you're enjoying this tutorial, please drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, please consider joining the Wolfpack Gaming community by subscribing to the channel and setting your notifications to all. So now that everything is stowed, we have a lot of crab sorting to do. If you do have a crew member, I highly recommend you have the crew member do this, as this can get a little bit tedious. But if it's just you, this is all you have. You could certainly let the computer tell you which ones are going to be good and bad, but you can very quickly figure out which ones are good and bad just by practice. And then by using the computer, you just have to move it around until the computer simulates being able to see its body size across the head, which is 7 inches across the head. That size is no good. Or the computer can see that it's either a male or a female. Using the computer drastically slows you down when you can literally figure it out yourself once you learn it. I know that this crab, just by looking at it, is a male because it has this triangle area right here. This is a female crab because it has this flat area, very flat area on the surface. So I know right away that that is a female crab and it's no good, no matter how big it is. So before the computer can even tell me that that's what it is, I know that the size is good, but it is actually a female crab. It has to go to the bad side. So I'm gonna bring out a few crab here and we'll check it out. So I clicked uh, five times, I got five of them out. Right away I know that's a female. I know that's a male, so we'll take a look. I know that's a male, so we'll take a look. And we have to flip these over by hitting the space bar. That's a male, so it's good. The size is good also. And this is going to be a female, so that's bad even though the size is good, it is a female. Keep in mind that if you make too many errors and you bring back female crabs or you bring back undersized crabs, you will be fined in the administrative building before you can leave your season. You can also make this quicker and even more efficient. You do not even need to click these. You can just hover over them and then mark them with your A and D button. So right away, these are too small. They're going to go over there. And these are uh, females, so they're going to go over there. And all I'm doing is hovering over. I'm not clicking the button, and I'm clicking my A button to send them to the left. If you need a break from sorting or your table starts to get a little cluttered and you get uh, a little bit confused of what's going on, come over here, grab that tote that you placed, take your crab here. It'll take 50 at a time. Come over to the hatch, that's your good crab. Your good crab goes into this hatch. And you will see your tonnage total over there on the left, that will go up. We just went up to 922 pounds of crab in there. Now we come over here and we grab our bad crab. Again, it'll take about 40. Come over here and toss them overboard by pressing the E button. You want to make sure that you don't just get lazy with it and you want to toss them all the way overboard. Make sure that your cursor is way up and out and you see them flying over the edge. Otherwise, you'll have crab laying all over the deck. Then you can drop your tote back here and continue sorting the remainder of the crab. This is something you can get little kids involved with if they enjoy gaming, and most do nowadays. Uh, you can come over here. You could show them everything that I just showed you, and then they can select it definitely have a nine-year-old daughter she would enjoy this part of the game for sure so now that we've stowed our grappling hook stowed all of our pots and our crane all of our equipment and put our bait into the refrigerator we are ready to head back to Dutch Harbor drop a comment below if you like the workflow that I showed you or if you have any tips or tricks to what you do while you're retrieving pots or sorting crabs if you are also a fan of survival and military games check out my second gaming channel showing up right now Continue to the next Deadliest Catch the Game tutorial by clicking the playlist card showing up on your left. Or if you have caught up on these tutorials, take a look at our Transport Fever 2 series popping up on your right. Click either one of those links and we will see you over there.